left, the Red Pyramid. I'm gonna be going in there a little later. It's gonna be awesome. So this is the entrance of the Red Pyramid. I'm going inside. Those stairs, through the entrance right there. It's gonna be awesome. About halfway up. something feet down, came in that way, we're going this way. And that second chamber, the red pyramid. They were roughly 30 feet in the air, I know you can't see, it's dark. Right through here, we're going to the burial chamber. Straight ahead. Must have been cleaning. As you can see, no sarcophagus, no writing, no treasure in here. We need sweat and bullets. It's cool in here. Now we get to go do that all over again. We're all set, done the Red Pyramid. We're on our way out. Time to get to work. This is fine for me because I'm so short. Yeah, that's the noise you heard is me almost falling. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think up might be easier than down was. <laughs> I think it is. Although my, my, uh, I think we'll just cut to the way out. This is hard work. That old man. Almost there. <laughs> Exit there. A few hundred stairs later, we're good, we're done. Now we get more stairs. And then we're out of here. In case anybody was curious as to where the Red Pyramid is, it just so happens to be a couple of miles away from Uncle Owen's moisture farm on Tatooine. Right down there. It's hot with the top of the mortuary temple of Crean Hedgesip Soot. Could look down, see the rest of the valley. Top promenade of the temple right behind me. A lot of statues. And through here, that is where Sanctuary is. But it is hot. We're going down. Saying hello to a broken sphinx as we say goodbye to Queen Hatship Suits Mortuary Temple. So this is Luxor Temple. It's night time. We're gonna have the place to ourselves. Quick lecture with Dr. Zawi Huas, and then we go. at the size of each one of these two statues. One single piece of granite, gray granite. So right now I'm in the middle of Luxor Temple, basically by myself. It's uh, pretty awesome. Crazy big statues. 
big open court. And a minaret up top. of Luxor. Anybody remembers what we have seen in the middle of the sanctuary of the Temple of Karna today? Offering, offering table. tables. Besides the offering table. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what did we see inside the sanctuary of the Temple of Karna? So we're leaving Luxor Temple. It's about 10.30 at night. About to walk into a big open courtyard. It's pretty breathtaking. Extremely loud boat coming up on the island where the Temple of Filet rests. Docking soon over there. Get a closer look. Temple of Filet. Pretty grand. This is actually a really cool section of the Temple of Filet. First off on the right, you can see the names. Italian archaeologists in the year they were here, like 1878. And in this area was once actually a Coptic Christian church. And if you look, you can see crosses carved in over the hieroglyphs. Kind of crazy. So it's been about a week in Egypt. Um, there's a lot of things, unfortunately, I couldn't really film. Today shouldn't be a problem, though. We're uh, at the Temple of Edfu. One of the best preserved temples in all of Egypt. I believe it's a temple of Horus. We're going to find that when we get inside. Inside Edfu Temple. Open area over here was where they let the commoners come in. Main entrance we just walked through. Sanctuary down that way. So this is an area of Edfu known as the New Year Chapel. Guess the priests would come out here right next to the sanctuary and celebrate the new year. We're currently walking into the last antechamber of the temple of... Straight ahead, this is the temple sanctuary. Only the high priest and the pharaoh himself was allowed back here. And look down this way, you can basically see the entire temple. So we're outside of Abu Simbel. It's hot. It's very hot. There's no video inside. Heck, outside as dramatic as it gets. Let's go on in. Four giant statues of Ramesses outside. Then, no photography inside. So right down the street from Ramses' temple at Abu Simbel is his wife Nefertari's. We can't take video in there either, but uh, still looks cool, just like the other one. So right now, really cool opportunity. I'm uh, taking a walk down into uh, 
the Sphinx enclosure. About to get a private lecture with Dr. Zawi Hawass. And we're gonna go right up to this mammoth of a beast. It honestly is as breathtaking as you think it is. Just had a private lecture at the Paws of the Sphinx with Dr. Zawi Hawass. As you see, people are taking pictures. Right now, quick photo opportunities with the doctor. But it's incredible to be this close. <laughs> and we'll get you a little closer look. Hey guys, Giza Plateau. We just went through the Great Pyramid. They do not let cameras video inside, hence me not getting any footage for you. But uh, we ran into the King's Chamber, Queen's Chamber, Subterranean Chamber. Open for us. A lot of work, a lot of climbing, a lot of stairs. I feel like that. But for now, take my word for it. Check out my sweat. Look at this awesome, crazy monolith. And we'll see you later. So we're on the other end of the Giza Plateau. Better shot of the second pyramid. You can see up at the top, the limestone casing blocks are still on this one. One of the few pyramids that actually has it. And right behind me, third pyramid. So I found the tourist pit of the Giza Plateau. Over here girls with nice figures. We've got people everywhere. Everyone gathering because you get a nice panoramic view of the Giza Plateau. Great pyramid of Khufu's, one off in the background. 